am in such a good mood. I'm starting my week in my life video. I hope you guys are having a great week. I want to start this video off with a question, so let me know down below what you are most excited for for this week. Obviously, this video is going to be posted in a week, and so let me know what you're most excited for. I'm most excited because I will be absolutely... I will be done on Friday, and so I'm leaving on Saturday for spring break. I'm so, so excited. Also, my name is Michelle Reed, if you're new here. I always forget to say that. I go to the King's College in New York City. I'm a senior. But yeah, I'm so, so excited because I'm going to, I feel like I've said this a lot, but I'm going to South Carolina and I'm going with my boyfriend Aiden, my sister Jamie, who I haven't seen in forever. I'm meeting her boyfriend for the first time and then her roommates are also coming. So it's gonna be so fun. I've never done like an actual trip over spring break in college and so I'm really excited. And then half the week, we are also going to Florida. We're gonna do a little road trip, just the girls to do like half a girl's trip. So I'm also seeing a friend in Florida. I'm just, I cannot. So ready for warmer weather. It's been like 30 degrees in New York City for a month now and I just am ready. Even if it's in the 50s, I don't care. I just want something a little warmer. But yeah, so today is Monday. I basically woke up and I went and I picked up a prescription and it also snowed a lot last night. So I kind of like seeing my neighborhood in the snow. It's really pretty. So I went for a little walk. Got coffee, came back, made breakfast. I just submitted an essay. It's also my midterms week, but the thing is I really only had an essay due today. And I also have a test tomorrow, but I only have one big test. And so today I'm just gonna be studying for that. I also wanna get ahead on a lot of my homework for the rest of the week, cause I'm pretty sure I want to film some things later on. And so that is kind of what I'm up to today. And then I also going to work out today, which I usually don't work out like during the daytime, but I have so much energy today. I'm just so happy. I don't know what it is, but I'm just feeling so good right now. And so I'm gonna work out and use my energy while I have it. On my to-do list today, I need to write my dad a card because it's his birthday. I submitted my essay, so that's checked off. I need to study for my finance test tomorrow. I need to print some things at the school whenever I go to class. I have one class today. I need to make a Quizlet for another class for a quiz I have tomorrow. So. That is what is on my agenda. Let's get this day started. I also love my essential oil diffuser over there. This one's actually my roommate Nodges, but we also have another one in the bedroom. But I recently got a ton of new oils. I use the Young Living ones because my sister actually is a distributor or whatever, so I just get them from her. But I got spearmint, got lemon, I got a huge lavender because I do lavender pretty much every night. Bergamot, bergamot, however you say that ginger and then lemongrass i'm so excited to diffuse these this week these are like all my favorite scents i love really minty scents i i love minty scents i love citrusy scents but i also really like lavender at night so those are kind of my favorites also for some reason this morning i've been listening to casey musgraves i feel like kenzie elizabeth but i think that's why i'm in such a good mood i love her music it reminds me of texas and so i'm just gonna keep playing this about to go work out. I think I'm just going to do the Stairmaster and then bike because I've been running a lot lately. My knees hurt, which I am kind of scared of because I don't want to get joint pain. And so I'm just going to do some stairs. Right now I just finished getting ready because I need to take an Instagram picture for a haul I'm posting. I need to post an Instagram promoting it. So I'm like wearing all of these like springy things and I'm really wishing I could actually wear this right now because I miss spring clothes. I just got ready for class after taking that photo and I'm just wearing these earrings which I got from Madewell. No, Francesca's. And then my top is from Princess Polly. It's just really cute, like cheetah blouse. And then my pants are also from Princess Polly. These are definitely a little funky for me because they're like flare pants, but they're super high-waisted. I don't really love wearing work pants and I know these need to be ironed, but I don't have time. So these ones are really comfy. So I'm just wearing these and then I just have on my Public Desire boots, which I like. And they're actually good because it's still really snowy outside and these are kind of like rain boots, so. dinner yet it's like 5 15 but i want to snack because whenever i eat dinner super early i'm always really hungry like when it hits like 9 or 10. i am heating up some frozen falafel and eat this with some hummus i also wanted to let you guys know that i'd like to do like a challenge every week not necessarily like a challenge challenge but something that is like out of the norm for me so this week i am doing no added sugar which basically means i'm not gonna eat like sweet so not someone who likes 
really unhealthy food that's like really greasy or like carby that kind of stuff i don't know i'm just like not really my guilt food but for me i'm just such a sweet tooth i love like ice cream and cookies and honestly anything and my boyfriend aiden is too so whatever we're together it's really bad but this week um i just want to try not doing it i don't know <laughs> after i was shopping at trader joe's on sunday i never see girl scouts here and there were girl scouts outside and so aiden bought me some savannah smiles which i thought that these were like lemonades but they're not and i'm kind of actually disappointed it's gonna be really hard to do that with those sitting on my counter but i just want to see what it's like for a week because i've never really just like totally not let myself do added sugar so we'll see i'm still gonna have things like agave honey stuff has like natural sugars in it obviously that's fine but just like no added sugar so we're gonna see if i feel different by friday i'm not doing this because of spring break and i'm trying to like get a spring break body i am trying to be fit but it's more just to see if i can do it i like challenging myself but i'm like pretty okay with my body right now I don't really try to lose weight so tonight I think I am just going to study for my tests I have tomorrow I'm someone who really processes things through like I really want to write out my Quizlet that's one of my best tips for tests do a Quizlet and then write out the answers after you've studied it for a while and it really helps you process it so I'm gonna do that Eden's also helping me with just like some fight that wasn't long enough I also have some tax things that I need to do and just like some personal finance things that I need to work on tonight. So I'm gonna do that. So guys, it is Tuesday. I just got back from yet again, another long Tuesday of class. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know Tuesdays are my busy days. I had my one final test, which went very well. I think I did really well. It was literally all short answer and you just wrote out the answers to the questions and I also got this little stress pimple so he went really well I rewarded myself with some chipotle just got steak corn veggies pico lettuce guac but I didn't get rice because I had rice for lunch so I just did not need that but I'm gonna eat this and watch YouTube videos and have a really chill night we're gonna see Aiden later but I'm just ready to like unwind for the night since that exam is over and I feel so much stress relief. I discovered Rohini or Rohini on YouTube and I've been binge watching her videos all last night and this morning. I just really love her content. So if you guys haven't seen her before, she's so cute. She's probably the prettiest person I have ever seen. I just think she's literally so pretty and really cute. And she got married young, which I think is cool. So you should definitely check her out. Just made some banana pancakes and then I'm gonna post a graphic of my recipe because I always get asked this. It's so easy. The more times you do it, the better it gets too. So I'm gonna insert it right here. You can screenshot it. Yeah, it's really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and eat these, finish watching some videos while doing some work. I also ordered these two books for my trip and I wanted to show them to you guys because I don't usually read fiction books just because I'm used to reading like informational books or books for school. I just never have time to read fiction, but these are two that my brother and my sister-in-law recommended and they both used to work for publishing companies so they just like know a lot about books. I really trust their opinions. So this one is Barbara Pym's Excellent Women, which seems like it's gonna be good. I think this one's more of like a classic. And then this one just looks super fun. It's called The Awakening of Miss Prim. Again, it's just like kind of like a whimsical, cute little book. And so I'm hoping that I'll get to read both of these. It's kind of my goal over spring break is just to do a ton of reading for myself, like leisurely reading. So guys, I just finished filming a video. I'm so excited about it. It was a dating Q&A, which I feel like I haven't done a video like that in a really long time. The spark isn't as strong as it is other days. You know, like getting married, going on our honeymoon and coming home and like living in our first apartment together. Those are things that for me, my first kiss happened whenever I was. So hopefully that will be out next week. You guys will see that. I also decided to go with kind of a coral red lip that's kind of like coming off now, but I think it's really cute. I normally don't wear lip colors like this, but right now I'm gonna get my stuff together to go to class. I have a three hour class today and then I'm volunteering tonight. I'll probably just stay at the school in between and get some work done. So it's kind of what I'm up to. I'm wearing this really cute Cute. wearing this really cute jumpsuit from princess polly i really like it i love like the ties on the side and i'm also just wearing these pants which are also from 
Princess Polly. They're just like these really cute khaki pants. Wearing my glasses, I straightened my hair for the first time in such a long time and I'm really liking it. I have some gold hoops in, just this really sheer button down from Express. And then my jumpsuit, Princess Polly. It's just this like cute graph paper style jumpsuit that has like little ties. I think it's really cute. And then my shoes are just Clark. I definitely feel like these shoes are not super cute with it, but I don't have anything else. Off to class. Today is Thursday. I feel like I have looked so rough in this entire video and so I don't really have anything to say about that. This is just kind of like, I feel like in the middle of February, when the winter's been going on for so long, there's just a point to which my skin can't take it anymore, I can't take it anymore, my body can't take it anymore, and we're just done, and my body shows it, so. This morning, I just applied to some more jobs and interns, pretty much trying to do every single day because I feel like the more you get your name out there, the more options you have, the more likely you get to pick something that you actually like, and so that's what I've been doing, but this morning, I also went and I ran a few errands. I went to Sephora because I ran out of my Laura Mercier translucent powder, the best powder ever and I use it all the time. I think it's the best and it's very pricey but it's like one of the only products that I feel like I will repurchase a lot because it's so good. I also stopped by Francesca for my spring break trip. I think I thought it was going to be warmer than it was and so I feel like I don't have like sweaters or anything to put over my warm stuff and so I found this sweater on clearance which is really cute. It's just like this really long kind of oatmeal style sweater really like soft and cozy and this was on clearance for $30 but both the things that I got together were 30 bucks so really really nice. This top just because I thought it was pretty and it was like 15 bucks. It's just like this little pink peplum shirt really cute and i think i'm actually gonna wear this today to class because i thought it was cute one class today and i'm meeting up with my friend isabel today and then later after that to a skincare event with my friend carson because carson loves skincare and she's so much fun to go to events with i love her she's awesome i'm a very introverted person so sometimes i'm a little bit too quiet at events but carson always gets me out of my comfort zone so i love her and then after that i think i'm gonna try to get a pedicure with my roommate nadja because my toes are really ugly in case they will be showing over spring break. Not be just another girl on Instagram. The bottom line is that people are gonna follow you because you have something that they're drawn to. When they visit your page, they have to either be inspired or entertained or just be simply attracted to something about you. So I just finished getting ready and I'm about to head to class. I wanna show you guys the shirt that I bought because I think that it is super, super cute. So this is the top. I think it's so fun and girly. And I also like how it like goes down lower in the back because it covers your butt. And so it kind of looks like I'm not wearing jeans. I'm wearing it with these knee high boots which are from Nine West or ASOS. <laughs> Carson, where are we? We are at the Paula's Choice Win and I'm about to flip out. Here we are, guys. We're on spring break. So I just got back from the event. That was so much fun. I had such a good time. Carson and I were just having so much fun and it was really cute with the clouds and they had really good treats. I also got a really nice goodie bag. And so I think at the end of this vlog, I might do a little giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you guys want to find some skincare things. I really don't like having a lot of products. And so most of the stuff that I get from events like these, I give away. So watch out for that. Nadja and I are about to go get a pedicure. I'm really excited, but I also got a fun package from RX bars, which I'm gonna go ahead and open. My absolute favorite package to get, and so I cannot wait to open this. Um, I have the chocolate sea salt, I have chocolate chip, peanut butter and berries, and I also have peanut butter chocolate. We are stocked. So today is Friday, and I'm so excited because it is my last day before spring break and so I just have two classes today and then I'm gonna come home and clean and pack and do laundry. Let's get this day started. So these are all the products that I'm gonna be giving away. It's basically everything from Paula's Choice, which is a really great skincare brand. I love their stuff. So I have like a moisturizer, another moisturizer, another moisturizer, because I know it's like still really cold. So you guys probably need some moisture. 
a cleanser, this is an acne body spray, a primer, a booster, a serum, and also another moisturizer. So if you guys wanna win these, basically all you have to do is comment down below and say what you're most excited for for spring. Also include your at name on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed. And then I will pick a winner in two weeks. So I'll have the date right here that that is. And I will message you on Instagram who wins.